thunder only happens when it's raining. So I can't use Fleetwood Mac in a video, so I had to overdub this. I got this new Crown amp just for this beautiful, um, simple record player with these Cambridge Soundworks speakers that I now I have a setup just for record playing, and I don't have to use. Without going over here into this monstrosity. Today, we're going to be miking up the piano here. So I gotta move some of the stuff from Lara's art show that went extremely well a few weeks ago. Gonna use a couple of these 414 microphones from 1980s. A matched pair of those. I got a couple of these new old stock 70s clips to use so I don't have to take the ones down that are upstairs with my drums. There's a shirt that needs a button reattached. Lara's gonna do that for me. Thank you, Lara. So well, yeah, we'll take this stuff down, open up the lid. What I'm doing this for is to get set up for a new artist uh, for next week. So I'm testing some new preamps. Now I'm going back in here and the Fleetwood Mac is playing, so I had to re-record all this uh, voice over here. This is a John Hardy M1 microphone preamp amplifier I just got. I'm either gonna buy a, a keep it or flip it. It's got four channels and I'm looking to save space in my rack. So I'd like to have each rack space have four channels if I can uh, get, not uh, sacrifice the sound of the uh, microphone preamps. So those are vintage APIs I was just pointing to. And that's what the John Hardys are made um, after the same kind of type of design, an input transformer an op amp and an output output transformer very simple um, but these m1s are souped up like the best of the best parts and they're all brand new they're not vintage so i got bren averill enterprises i'm pointing out here I've turned into bae and i'm saying that because john hardy is one of those guys like bren averill he's a well-known um, maker of odd high-end audio gear these are famous uh preamps so i'm pointing to the Brent Averill. Um, that is a Dan Alexander um, right there that's parts like that. The, the one I'm pointing to there is actual modules, not parts of a Neve. So that's the first one I ever got. I'm keeping that one. Up. I'm trying to decide which ones I'm going to keep. These ones are Melkor's, which came before API. The guys from Melkor left. Melkor, they ended up going out of business and started API. So those are even older. Those are like late 60s. These are my Calrex. They're like Neves. They were made at the same time as Neve. Uh, competitor for Neve with the BBC. Uh, made to exactly the same specs as the Neve stuff. Um, so I'm going to use two of those. I'm going to use the BAE. And I ended up using the Calrex for a shootout of the M1 to see which one we sounded be best clean. on piano. Be if, it dirty, if it gets dirty along the way, cool. But when I'm starting or finishing, everything's gotta be clean. Clean slate. Just like when I set up my, my computer session, blank tracks, no EQ, no compression, straight in to the preamps, so I can hear exactly what it sounds like. This is the first time that these brand new clips have ever gone on the stand. And they were made in 1978. Tighten it down with this. Nice and tight. Generally, yep. Just one there, one over there. Yeah, look, that sounds good. Coming up uh, through there. All right, so what we did is recorded the same microphone setup uh, Ethan playing the same thing on three different microphone preamps. I used the new M1 John Hardy, the BAE 1073, and I used the Calrex. You didn't know what I used until now. I was looking. Yeah. But I didn't know which one you used for which recording. On a blind test, Ethan is picking the middle one. Let's listen to the, the middle one right now. changing for me. Wow. Yeah, you can really hear a difference up here. It's the bottom ones. It's the top ones. Wow. The middle ones are like, more like
like the real piano. good clean a clean really clean for acoustic instruments so yeah that's a good match for a piano um, they're supposed to be great for drums too because they're like APIs so I'll have to try them on drums next oh, you're filming me I know you are <laughs> stop <laughs> I'm, I'm adding contacts to my art contact list people that came by open studios I'm gonna go tune the piano okay have fun bye <laughs> so we gotta take this panel off. It just uh, lifts up right there. Put my tuner here. Tuna. Sounds like tuna. Like tuna sandwich. Ooh. It's in tune. Close enough. Jeez, I maybe mean, I don't even have to do this. Pretty much in tune already. Nice. One of these three strings not i can hear is out of tune that's supposed to be in perfect unison so you can pluck the one on the left pluck the one in the middle pluck the one on the right boy that's pretty close i'm not gonna touch it well i guess i don't have to tune my piano